and welcome back everybody and this is episode 0.5 of Minecraft Unchained and uh, so what I'm going to bring you guys is the how to uh, how to create the the world that we're going to be living in and uh, so yeah let's get started so um, for me obviously it's single player uh, you can see I've done a whole bunch of different test worlds and that's a little uh, secret block centric oops uh, so we're gonna this is Minecraft Unchained this is the world now the one thing with uh, with these lava oceans and I'll get into how that works uh, the one thing that you notice is it says creative mode uh, we're not gonna be building in creative it's gonna be survival but when you're creating one of these worlds you have to start in creative because uh, you can see uh, the little picture frame over here uh, that was the start of uh, this first I think this is the first iteration of the lava oceans and uh, it actually spawned me in the ocean so I spent um, <laughs> a bunch of time trying to change to creative so that I didn't you know I could actually start playing so just to save you the hassle just starting creative Go into survival once you once you found or you're on a landmass just to make it safe and that, so you're not frustrated. But anyways, so let's get into the world creation. So uh, go to create new world, uh, name it fun creation. Yes, fun creation. And again, set that to hardcore. No, <laughs> set it to creative, uh, and then hit more world options. You need to have cheats on, uh, obviously, because you're going to be switching to survival after the fact. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to pick the customized uh, world. And again, this is in vanilla, so uh, this has nothing to do with a mod. Uh, and then from there, you want to customize your world. So you can see there's a whole bunch of settings here. Uh, there's multiple pages. Uh, and this, well, these pages are the same, just uh, one's text, one's a slider. But uh, there's multiple pages, there's a lot of options. Uh, I will put the link to the wiki in the description um, to show you what everything, you know, a, a list view, because I'm not going to go through every single option, uh, but a list view of what all of the different options do. Uh, that way you can try it out and uh, link some, uh, or send some screenshots. Put them, uh, put them in, the, in the comments down below. Well, I can't talk today. So anyways, um, you know, I started playing around with this and, and this is vanilla Minecraft at the way that it's built. You can see what the numbers are. Um, now, after a lot of trial and error, I actually went down to presets and they have actually a bunch of these just different options for you. And uh, where I ultimately started was Waterworld. Uh, use this preset. And then from there, you can see that all of these options are set. Now, one other thing on a side note uh, before you get started, if you change any of these options, so let's just say we wanted to do the dungeon count, um, and then you go to the presets, it will reset your options that you already did. So you want to choose the preset first, uh, if you're going to use a preset, and then go and make your modification from there. So we have uh, the water world preset set. Uh, what I did was I turned the water down to... Uh, 120 uh, and uh, we want all these options yes dungeon count why not all the way up to 100 water lake rarity I put that all the way up to 80 because we don't want too much water everywhere um, lava lake rarity we want that all biomes now uh, one thing to note you can pick specific biomes that you want to use uh, I did this I actually did a I tried uh, doing beach um, and then I also tried doing uh, ocean and both of them actually created really cool results uh, with you know sea level even lower than 120 um, but the problem is is you don't get any of you know the generation is only for that biome so you're not going to get you won't necessarily get villages in 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 a beach biome you actually probably won't even, you'll barely get a tree and that's that was actually a fun uh, fun try maybe that'll be something later but uh, um, so you want to just put biomes all if you want everything that uh, this has to offer over here. And then I also turn the river size. Nope, river size stayed the same. I turn the biome size a little bit lower just so that you get a better variation closer. Um, then we get the next page. This is your ore settings. Uh, and again, I went through and I updated everything to have a max height of 256, which actually makes sense in the real world. You know, you, People find surface 
diamonds. I mean, there's there's plenty of places in Africa where you can find diamonds just lying on the ground. There's plenty of places in in uh, you know the Carolinas where you can find emeralds right there on the ground. Um, but you know, in Minecraft, they they limit everything to be lower because they want you mining. Um, so. Ooh, so what I did do, because now that these ores have a larger possibility of spawning, um, oh, I actually, ch yeah, I actually turned these up to eight. And then I set a min height, because I really don't want to be down there, to 50. So for everything down below, I set eight, 256, um, and a min height of 50. And you can play with that, you know, up depending on what you want to do, um, you can set this to what your heart desires. And then from there, uh, what I did do was, um, so with these basic settings here, uh, one of the issues I ran into was some of the biomes didn't make it high enough out of the lava. Because, you know, it, it's, it's based off of, you know, uh, you're, you'd get all your extreme hills, which pretty much be, are, are all snow-capped. So uh, I ended up changing the Y scale to be about half, full is 5,000. So I, I brought it close to uh, 2,500. And then um, this biome scale weight, I believe. I'll have to double check. And uh, I put this to about 50%. Now I actually tried having them maximized. And, and the world, I mean, everything was generated either way up at the... Uh, you know, at 256 or, you know, I mean, it was just, it was just like, a, almost like an amplified world, uh, actually, um, which, which was too rough for me. So this is kind of a, a good limit. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this, and maybe, uh, maybe somebody can, you know, leave a comment to, um, to help me out is I'd like a way for, or, or to be able to save these numbers. Because especially, especially the ore generation. I mean, that's just, that is quite painful. Like if you go through and you want to try out some of these options um, and you don't like it, you want to come back in, you have to set every single slider. If there was a way to create a default, maybe there is, um, then, you know, you'd be able to just play with the one or two things and not have to worry about dealing with stuff. Uh, that would be great. So uh, if anybody knows, uh, leave me a comment. But uh, other than that, uh, once you're done with this, again, the next page is the exact same thing, um, but if you just want to put in numbers, uh, that's that's where you want to be. So you hit done, type in your seed, and, uh, and create your world. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're not going to create it, but uh, yeah, so um, thanks for watching. And uh, we will see you in the first official episode of Minecraft Unchained. All right, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.